Welcome back. Let's do a brief overview of classical and operant conditioning and then move on to some of the common myths surrounding conditioning processes. Classical conditioning is an association between novel or new stimuli and biologically inherited behaviours. Animals learn new behaviours that help them adapt to their environment through a process known as operant conditioning. In operant conditioning, the consequences influence the future likelihood of a behaviour. The five possible consequences after a behaviour include positive and negative reinforcement, positive and negative punishment, and extinction. In operant conditioning, there's always at least a three-term contingency. This contingency includes a discriminating stimulus, an operant, and a consequence. Classical conditioning differs from operant conditioning in that the consequences do not influence the future likelihood of the biologically inherited behaviour. Both types of conditioning result in small-scale changes to the neurobiology of the animal. Let's take a brief look at some of the common misconceptions surrounding operant and classical conditioning. One of the most common misconceptions with operant conditioning is that people think the consequences cause the behaviour, but this is not the case. For example, if we remove the antecedent hoops, then we also remove the opportunity for Piper to earn a food reward. Another common misconception is that trainers think they know what is punishing and reinforcing for the horse. However, ultimately, it's the horse that decides what is punishing and what is reinforcing. Another misconception is that people think that operant and classical conditioning are mutually exclusive processes, but this is not the case. Behaviour is continuous and complex. In this float loading example, Jasper shows an instinctive fear of the trailer. When gentle negative reinforcement is applied, Jasper's avoidance behaviour increases. In cases like this, it's really important to manage the emotionality of the animal. To change Jasper's attitude towards the trailer, we've introduced a food incentive. We've also given Jasper the choice of whether he wants to be on or off the float. Less than 10 minutes after making these changes, the fear and anxiety is gone and Karina has a self-loader. A study by Paul McGreevy and Amanda Warren-Smith found that less than 3% of Australian equestrian coaches knew the correct definition for positive reinforcement. Less than 12% knew the correct definition for negative reinforcement and less than 5% the correct definition for punishment. These videos were a basic introduction to the principles of operant and classical conditioning. Thanks so much for watching. Hmm, have I got join up all wrong?